Costa, Lackey, and Robert introduced me to motocross. I hope you love it the way I do. Enjoy. A pun, you know, there was water all over the place and with about uh, five inches of mud on top of it and it's sandy mud so it scratched very hard. It's, it's very bad, really. What Marty Smith is to America, Belgium's Roger de Coster is to the world. The racer's racer, de Coster has been the world's motocross champion five times. To the most grueling of motorsports, de Coster brings an air of sophistication and precision that leaves his fellow competitors in awe. It's so difficult to tell why somebody is world champion, but he's just world champion because he has everything what you need for a world champion. That's the physical endurance, it's the riding skill, it's your determination. He can accommodate to the different situations, to sunshine, to stones, to snow, to rain. He can do everything and he can do everything with his bike. If you've ever watched him at a race that he starts very bad in, he'll stay there for the first 10, 15, 20 minutes, you know, without taking any chances at all. And then you'll see him at the last part of the race go very fast, much faster than anyone else on the track. And, and you can see it. To a veteran of 35 Grand Prix victories, a fall like this is simply shrugged off. The bike straightened and the race continued. When you reach the point where your body can keep up in perfect coordination with your mind, with what you're thinking, what you're supposed to do, it means that you're almost riding without feeling yourself, without feeling your body. Like you're thinking it and you're doing it at the same time. And only at the end of the race, I think you can tell that you're really being successful at racing 100% that day. And that maybe happened a couple of times a year. Motocross demands far more than technique and strategy. Riders must be able to withstand an enormous amount of physical punishment, not to mention enduring the sheer exhaustion of... The second flag goes down. Where's Lucky? Don't say at this point in the race. But it's just the crowd. There he is! As the front wall goes up, and he's acknowledging the crowd. Absolutely fantastic race. Everybody pours forward. What a fantastic motocross from Brad Lackey. I know we should be thinking of Aiken Carlquist, the actual winner, but the champion is all about the winners, and the winner this afternoon may, be, may have been Aiken Carlquist, but the winner overall is the big American, Brad Bearded Lackey. Brad Lackey. There he is being hoisted shoulder high. I can see the helmet, distinctive helmet colour of Brad Lackey being thrown aloft. Absolutely enjoying every moment of this Grand Prix. That's what it's all about. The adrenaline gets going over so many Grand Prix during the season, but it's the one where you know you've got enough points to do it. Will the machine hold up? And Brad Lackey had just that this afternoon. There goes the American flag there, the stars and stripes. If you can recall, Bruce Panel was this... And here is the decisive moment, Robert catching up with Hallman. In the next lap, Robert was already first and stayed there to the finish line. world champion for the second time at the age of 25 is some reason for a celebration. And if a large delegation of his fan club is on hand to join the happy champion, champagne pours on his head. If you got this far, like it if you do and subscribe if you care.